All right, welcome back to another episode of Nick's Morning Coffee. I'm Mr. King, and then y'all know my partner, Joe Cool. All right, so, um, all right, first, uh, you know, this is episode, what, 62. So everybody, before we get started, just please remember to like, comment, subscribe. Um, you know, we're starting to get the likes. I was a little bit shocked when you told me that of all of our viewers, we're only at 67% subscribers. Yes, sir. Good uh, job. And now subscribing. Yeah, so let this be the day that you hit that subscribe button and notification button. We're trying to get up there in elite status. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, we're going to start out today. We're going to try to keep the conversation going today because uh, about the, the Knicks rotation. Because now, I, I don't know, all of a sudden, it seems to be now what direction should the Knicks go in. Mm. You know, we know what the starting five would, was probably going to look like or, or probably will look like. And then also what the first five off the bench may look like. But um, a lot of people seem to feel that of those three rookies that we brought in, mm -hmm. you know, uh, change the dynamic. And I agree that mostly uh, Grimes will be a steady player. Like the way he played in summer league will be the way he'll play in the game. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll be he'll be a, a clutch shooter. He'll be a guy that when he get the ball, he just know what to do with it. But he'll fit into the he'll fit into the rotation. Mm -hmm. um, Deuce McBride he'll change the dynamic. Because of the way he runs, the way he gets up into somebody on defense and the way he runs the floor on offense mm. and the way that he can pull it. So he's he's even a little bit, it's a little bit different from with Quigley. You know, Quigley has like three things that he does. Mm -hmm. you know, he does the step back, he does the floater, and then he does where he draw the foul. Those are like Quigley's three things that he brings to the I'm game. doing that part of this year. They're cracking down on that. Yeah, they, yeah, they're definitely cracking down on that. But they always start out saying that. But then once they start letting James Harden get away with it, then you got to let everybody else get away with it. Mm. Well, that's James Harden's game. But as far as Deuce, he he does bring a new dynamic um, to the game. And then you talk about Jericho Sims. Mm. He brings an element that we don't have in our big guys with the way he can catch the ball around the basket and make a move. Now, it's a shame that Mitch never really got that type of point, and we're going to go into Mitch later. But but Jericho brings he brings an element that if he gets his hands on the ball near the basket, mm -hmm. he's thinking bas you know, ball rim. <laughs> like that's his mindset. So our other guys have to get it and then throw it back out. Well now so, look, I love our rookies and I love our team. But this was summer league basketball. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna let y'all know Clay Anthony Early, <laughs> right? And Kevin Knox played great in the summer league. Uh, couldn't barely translate that into the regular season. Mm -hmm. So we don't know what these... Grimes, to me, is the only one, and maybe Jericho, because they played a role. Mm -hmm. They didn't go out there and just do whatever they wanted to do. You know what I mean? Quickly, he already had that role last year of doing what he wanted to do. And McBride's not going to be able to do that unless he just piggybacks off Kemba. You know what I mean, and but Derrick Rose, but is he even gonna get that kind of time? Nah, he won't. It'll take it'll That's take saying, it'll so. take an injury. Cause you know the first thing that Tibbs is gonna say is, first thing he's gonna say is, mm. um, whoever wins the job, best mm. man that wins the job and give us the best chance to win. Mm. That's gonna be his first. But you know he's going with the veterans. Yeah. <laughs> so is it is it, you know, like when Tibbs case. And we already know the answer to that anyway. And good players. But does it come down to loyalty or does it come down to best chance to win? It's going to come you down know. to best chance to win. I, I already seen it last year. He kind of told me with the idea of like not breaking his spirit. But once he took Randall out for me, I said, yeah, he's not playing next year. But he'll start with he'll start with loyalty. I'm talking about no, no. He started he'll start with, with no, veteran loyalty. No, he started with loyalty. But now his job is on the line. Because, yeah, he got there. But in typical Nick fashion, y'all not going to get out the first round. He's not dealing with that again. You know what I mean? So he's, I think, you talking about jobs on the line? He's not playing. Either you're going to play or you're not playing. <laughs> like, well, it comes down, come down to loyalty over progress. If the younger guys give you the progress mm -hmm. to be a better team, yeah, they got to they gotta find their way on the floor. Mm -hmm. But you got to be honest with yourself that Tibbs is not going to start the season that way. Yeah, but he was honest with he himself started over paying. Yeah, but that's time. That's still no, because he, he put overpaying in. But he's still starting the whole year. He started him, took right. him out. Yeah, so yeah, that's the loyalty, loyalty part. Now, now that's gone. So now it's going to be, y'all don't really got no loyalty to the Knicks. Y'all only been Knicks for two years. 
And y'all only really got this position because there was nobody better. If somebody better comes in, he like good players. He's going to put them in. Quickly got a lot of time. Well, guard-wise, though, we know we know that Kimba and Rose, mm -hmm. guard-wise, is better than Miles. That mm -hmm. part we know. It's that Miles, the way he constantly pushes, mm -hmm. he brings that element constantly. Because actually, Miles can... No, he can't go to the hole like Rose. Mm -hmm. And he don't really... He don't wheel and deal like Kimba. Mm -hmm. But he got... He, he's serviceable, you know. But again... I don't. I don't see where the controversy probably will come in at. Is that sometimes people feel like right away Miles got to be there right away. I don't. I don't really. You know, I like to see him as the season goes on, but I don't really see that that we have to start that way because we have we have enough now. Ain't nothing like nothing like young legs getting up and down the court because mm -hmm. that makes the game unpredictable. Mm -hmm. And and this year we could afford to be unpredictable at times. Because now we have skilled guys that can knock down shots. Mm -hmm. When you're just flying up and down the court like we would do sometime last year, and you don't got shooters on the perimeter or finishers, now you all they got to do is sag back on us. Now it's going to be hard mm -hmm. to sag back because we're going to have shooters in both lineups. And mm -hmm. if you want to count a third lineup, we're going to have shooters all the way around there. And we're going to have guys over the top, mm -hmm. going over the top around there. So... If when we're running, it's gonna be hard to for the defense to get back and figure out where we're going. Mm -hmm. Because we got we got the fast break. If we run it the way we ran it in the summer, you know, just like the heads up, then we got that down pat. So I you know, just the the fact that some people still feel that the youth is what's gonna carry us. The youth is not gonna carry us. The youth mm -hmm. is an addition to what we got. Mm -hmm. And and that's and that's a major difference in terms of putting the young guys out there. Now now you can say you're two, three years away if you was going that route. No, we just added we just added on what we already have. Yeah, if you know. to the fire, like why we just can't let these kids learn. Listen, they straight out of college. So basically to me that's straight out of high school. You know what I mean? You only going to college to really play ball. And then you go into the league. So let them develop and get stronger. We can you can see that with quickly. If I could have just held quickly back and tell him work his muscles out and then get his reps in in the G. I would have probably had him do that. You know what I mean? He was a big uh, factor to us winning. But look at Mitchell Robinson. Look how big he got in three years. Yeah. He don't know what kind of monster he about yeah. to be this year. Yeah. Like, do that. We got to see real progression. Everybody don't get that chance of having to. Everybody not John Morant. Yeah. Everybody don't get a chance to get thrown into the fire and they got to play. I know we ain't talking about this, but I watched the uh, interview with Melo. Uh -huh. Right? And uh, he said when they all got drafted, uh, they all had to go to their respected teams and handle their business. He went to Denver, LeBron went to Cleveland, yeah. D Wade went to Miami. There was no shagging up. Yeah. You know what I mean? They not these players not coming in ready like that no more. Chris Bosch had to go with Toronto. Mm -hmm. They all had to go to their own team. That's why they got their playing time. That's where they were worth their minutes. Well that's how the well the league was still built like that then. The league yeah, that's so how the now, league these kids guys wasn't piggybacking young. like that. But but again, because so many because of so many young guys are entering the league now mm -hmm. that are essentially taking over their teams in the mm -hmm. last, and I go back to the the, the Frank uh, Nilakina draft, because so many young guys from that draft on, mm -hmm. a lot of guys have come into the league since then, mm -hmm. and they're taking over. A lot of them are taking over their teams, mm -hmm. so a lot of the older guys. So we seeing we seeing a lot of piggybacking on the same team, but some of that because the older guys, y'all almost got to go somewhere now. It ain't even so much just like a big three. That that mm -hmm. luster, nobody's really looking at that luster with the Lakers, mm -hmm. with their with their big three. That's not, because everybody doing that now, and it has not really given nobody no results. Mm -hmm. So, but because there's so many young guys, you're going to find teams where Asian superstars will end up on the same team. Now, this was Six years ago, and and the Lakers put together that team, adding Melo and Dwight Howard. Now it would be like, that's a super team. Mm -hmm. But now everybody's older. Every, even Russ is older. He just, mm -hmm. Russ still got them young legs. But AD is older. AD is older and injury prone. Uh, so That older, for this day and age, really don't matter. They only like 30. No, no, no. no well, I'm saying the mid-30 guys. But that's what I'm saying. If you put, put, <laughs> but put them in their 20s. Yeah, put them in their put 20s, them in the twenties when they all at the height of their skill level. Now yeah. that's a super team. Yeah, I see that conversation all the yeah. time. But yeah, y'all can't tell me that's the USA team. <laughs> Dwight Howard, Melo, LeBron. I think AD wasn't there, but that's that's the yeah. damn USA team. Yeah, I think did he play with them one year? He played with some of them one year. Yeah, 
You know yeah. what I mean? So yeah. we, we <laughs> y'all telling me oh because they old they ain't that damn old they, and y'all act like they get injuries. What kind of injury do they really get? LeBron don't get injured. Melo don't get injured. Mm-hmm. AD do, but they got Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard really. I mean, they got injured. a good. They got. I mean, they got a. They got a squad, but still, they don't got no bench. You got to go out. Bench, you got four. You got. You got to go out and play the game. You know, well, that is their bench. Dwight and Melo is their bench. They're not starting. They're gonna come off the bench. Well, I'm just saying they starters. Yeah, so it's not yeah, like, but that's what I mean. Yeah, but that that Laker thing, that's that's gonna be. Of course, it's intriguing mm-hmm. because of all the faces and everybody. You know, especially on our side, you want to see Melo at least have a chance to get a ring. Mm. But, you know, going back to with the Knicks, with the with the best chance to win and loyalty, mm. that that could be one and the same person. Mm. You know, because we know it's not the young guys. The young guys are just addition, mm. you know, to what we're doing. And just looking at looking at our young guys mm. combined with, that, that that's a nice-looking team. Yeah. You know, that's a nice-looking team for us. But, okay, so going back to Mitch. So, you know, the thing now with Mitch's contract, now yes, I don't um, know. comes into play. Mm. So Mitch, um, you know, he was due for uh, an extension. Mm. So the Knicks, they're going to, I guess they are going to sign him. And had to, had to, even if they didn't at this point. But it was for four years, $44 million. Mm. So he was only getting a million something last year, the mm-hmm. last few years, which we know he was underpaid for that. So this contract calls for $11 million. And some say he don't deserve the $11 million because he can't play a full season. Garbage, yeah. right? Come on. And then others say he's worth more than eleven million because he's good or as good as some of the other guys mm. at his position, like you know Capella and and Robin Lopez. They named a few. Yeah, Shaw, I forgot like, the kid what from. What is everybody watching? Well, they don't getting think well. That money. Well, they getting the other guys are getting. Well, listen to this. You, why can't he get the fifteen? Um, now eleven is eleven is good for him right now mm. because it's a jump from the one. Mm. Um, but if the other guys are getting. Four years, 56, four years, 66 million. That's the same realm that Mitch's supposed to be in. Mm. Now, for us, if Mitch accepts that, which I'm sure he would, that's a great fit. 11 yeah, million that, compared to, to compared to 1 million yeah, his first is, year is an go. upgrade. His first year, he, he did one, but he did good his he first did, year. I'm saying he did good, but I think people go by one, because I was even telling my boy this. I said, which I don't like is he was a little off balance the first year, right? Foul trouble. Kind of head not in the game, you know what I mean? He flushed it, cool. But like, he had a good Obi first year. And y'all but, like, had, but he had a good first yeah, year. He had a good. But then, then I just don't think they like how he talk. He's country, you know what I mean? Like I think it's a whole mix. They just don't like him. He's like mellow right now. Like they just don't like him. Well, they better get on liking him because he came in. That's my guy. He came in out of high school. Well, he didn't go. He's supposed to go to Western Kentucky. Mm-hmm. Something happened. He didn't go, mm-hmm. so he stayed home and trained. Came in, played well. I mean, he wasn't wasn't expecting but so much from him. Mm. You know, he blocked a lot of shots. He, he became a unicorn in that sense from his rookie year. Mm. And then he improved each year. Mm. So when you go back to pre-injury last year, mm. look at what Mitch was doing. Mm. Mitch was ending up a lot of games with 15 points, but blocking a lot of shots in the dunks. And not just the, the dunk alley-oops, the rebound dunk. Mm. You know, putting it back down. That's that's where he's starting to grow. The defense and transition. I saw a lot of plays. Just looking up his like highlights and stuff. He, he, he's he's not only blocking shots. He's getting in the passing lanes. Yeah, you know I mean, he's cutting people off that's running through the paint. He's doing all. The Look, he was number three. Stuff. He was number that, three in blocking shots. Mm. Uh, before he got hurt, he was three or four last year. Mm. And and once he figured out going into last year to block the shots with his left hand. Because mm. left hand, you're away from the body when you go to block a shot. Mm. So you, so now all of a sudden he wasn't getting those foul. He wasn't in foul trouble last yeah, he year. He wasn't. Tiz was just splitting twenty, you know, uh, mm. splitting the minutes between the two. But the man showed that he's a player in this league. Two, sometimes three. Our big, our big man wasn't the problem. The situation we have with the big man, with Mitch Robinson, they're not there, was not a problem. Jericho Sims just give us more fuel to the fire and actually give them more of a rest. So Nerland Noel, well. remember he was getting injured too. So we had that's why we had to go get Pell and yeah. Kyle Gibson had to play. Well, yeah, we you don't want Kyle Gibson playing all those minutes all year long. He's Y'all a good security about, blanket. Listen, we don't got to do uh, what's that called management, load management yeah. with the Knicks because everybody well, don't do that anyway. is going to do their job. Yeah, well, Tibbs overplays as they say he overplays his guy, mm-hmm. his best guys. But yeah, you you seen the picture of of Mitch bulked up? Mm-hmm. He's up to two seventy five. He was two forty. Mm-hmm. When he came into the league, mm. and he looked stronger, but that comes with age. That's age weight, also. Mm. 
you know, the man, the man is a beast. So whoever feel like he don't deserve that money, then what are you saving it for? Who are you saving it for? Mm -hmm. Let us know in the comments. Let us know in the comments you don't think about Mitch. I'm telling you what to write in the comments. <laughs> Mitch is the beast. Put that in the comments. There's no way on God's earth we let Mitch walk out the door for nothing. Mm -hmm. That just doesn't even make sense, you know. But again, people feel a concern, so we talk about it. But you telling me, no way, Jose, that we let Mitch go. You know, we give that man his money. And 11 million, we still got him cheap. Mm -hmm. We still got him cheap for 11 million, even if you only count the blocks and the intimidation. Mm. That if he I was, brings. If I was Mitch, I go to Rich Paul too. He ain't even his minutes. Nah. <laughs> uh, well, we know what then we're gonna we're gonna jump to that then that Rich Paul thing then because that was um with Nerlens Noel. Um, yeah, I ain't understand that. All right, so I mean, the contract it went it went okay, so it went like this. Mm. Um, Nerlens Noel, his I, I guess it was 2016. Mm. His agent was Happy Waters, so. He had a contract with, with I guess he was still with Dallas, mm -hmm. um, for seven for for seventy million. Mm -hmm. So, Rich Paul tells him, who's not his agent mm -hmm. at this time, mind you, um, just sign a one year deal, and then come to me supposedly, mm -hmm. come to me and I'll get you a hundred million deal. You're a hundred million dollar player, mm -hmm. so I'll get you that deal. So Nerland signs the he signs the one year deal. With Dallas, I guess it was with Dallas, the first time. He signs the one year deal and then he yes, um he gets five million, I get whatever it was. So then he now now this is his agent. So now Rich Paul's his agent. So now Rich Paul got him. Now he's only getting five year deals. And then I think he got a ten, got a two and a ten for last year. So now he's getting ten million. So he's saying that you you promised me this money and you didn't deliver. So and then they saying that uh, New Orleans is only suing him because Rich Paul was suing him because he didn't pay him the money from the, even though there was five five million dollars, you didn't pay me my fee, you know, my percentage from getting you those deals. Mm -hmm. So, when I was listening to uh, Shannon Sharp talk about the deal, that the reason why Rich Paul couldn't get him the deal because he stayed hurt so much. Mm -hmm. That, he was, that his injury, teens just wasn't willing to roll the dice on him no more because of his injury. Mm -hmm. And then the point that, that Sharp did make was, if you got $70 million on the table and you know you always hurt, why are you listening to somebody that's not your agent? Mm -hmm. You know, because at the time, Rich Paul wasn't his agent. Mm -hmm. So that's where the controversy came in at. You promised me something that you didn't deliver. Mm -hmm. So both of them, I think, are wrong. Yeah, they both wrong. Yeah, they, they both wrong because Rich Paul... He's uh, narrowly saying he spent too much time with his high profile people, which of course one is LeBron, AD, people like that. And that's that's what everybody does that. Every agent. When David Falk had Michael Jordan, Michael Jordan was his primary, then he had Patrick Ewing and them other guys. They came second to Michael Jordan. Mm -hmm. You know, they got their contracts done, but everything and not just Michael's NBA contract, mm -hmm. all Michael Jordan stuff, you know, your agent was handling. So where is the time really, and it's not fair, but where is the time to put into all the other players? Mm -hmm. So, Nerlin, you you went against your own agent, took somebody else's advice, mm -hmm. and then then Rich Paul, you know, what more could you have done? He, like now he signed a fifty six million contract with the Knicks. Mm -hmm. So now you're gonna get you're gonna get some of that money. Yeah, it's it's yeah. it's more so Nerlens, you know what I mean? Listen, like you said, you knew he was gonna get hurt. Like, you knew you always hurt, so you should have mm -hmm. took that money anyway. And then went to Rich Paul. Your agent works for you. You don't work for the agent. Right, 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 right. So they got to remember that. If you didn't like something for year one, you're supposed to pull them into a meeting and say, listen, we ain't going to get 74 or 77. We ain't going to get 100, but let's get that 77 back. Yeah. Well, then, it's on you. You got to stay healthy. Yeah, it's, I mean. Like, listen, I'm getting back in the gym. I'm doing this. I here's mean, my tapes, yeah. here's my workouts, here's my numbers, here's my stats. And you give that to him, and he can try to justify why. Because it, it almost comes down to a character thing. That's why they get this money. You know what I mean? I don't think it's so much they scale. I think well, Nerlens, he's always, he's always been, a, as far as I know, he's always been a class act. Mm -hmm. As far as I know, you know, I don't I don't really remember anything bad about him. Now, who knows how people are behind closed doors. But I know he probably had to go through his, mm -hmm. his career because of his injuries. 
because he was a prime time player. Mm. So because of your injuries, you mm. never really got to show the skills mm. that you possess because of your injuries. And then at the same time, the league start changing on you. He start going with the big men mm. shooting the threes. So he just got caught up in that between injuries and the transition of the league for the big man. Mm. He got lost in that trans. You know, yeah, I know everybody want to be the best, but at some point, these players got to realize you you not LeBron. You know what I mean? You not AD. You not uh, MB. Like you got to start telling yourself that and just move on. Well, guys got to know if they not star power. See, but that but when they get that uh, Shrew Shrouder, he just did the same thing. You. You let money go, thinking you was going to get this, and you didn't get it. But at some point, you're you not Chris Paul. Like, yeah, you but got to, I mean, like, you made it to the league. You already getting a multi-million dollar contract. These kids playing high school ball, they not making it to college. They got to be real with themselves from there. College players not making it to the league, they got to be real with themselves from there. You got to be real with yourself when you get these. You're already making 60 mil. What was 10 more mil? Go find that I in mean, a Nike contract. Yeah, Go find that in a yeah, but I still to his, but I know, but to his defense, because everybody killing him, everybody that's the contract everybody was getting. The people, even guys that was under him at guards was mm -hmm. getting that contract. So you, he was due a little bit more money, but it's just somehow the way things shaked out, yeah. and, there's, and there's so many deals between players mm -hmm. maneuvering. And players are maneuvering, and they, and they whispering in their agent's ear too that mm -hmm. okay, at the end of this year we got to make this happen. So he got he got lost in that. Well, we now because he because he probably not a part of the loop mm -hmm. is where he didn't realize yeah, we he need, wasn't we getting more. Just now that probably deserve more. Mitch, the Nerlens, uh, Shrouder, yeah, they probably deserve a little more. But when? Because look at the Knicks. We ain't had money to get no Shrouder, no a hundred mil. <laughs> where you was getting that from? If you was if you was if you could have got that from any team, there would have been more players moving around. All right, but this is the thing too, then, because now when you said that, when you and then you mentioned you threw the Knicks in there, so I got to go back because mm -hmm. you know I love me some Leon Rose and 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 West and them guys, but again, the same way the Lakers did it, mm -hmm. we got to stop worrying about. We got to get now. I, I want to keep the people we got running the front office, of course, mm -hmm. but we need the mindset. Even if we don't got a dollar. How do we reel and deal in the front office mm. to get the players that we want? The teams that do mm. that, they're not doing it with the money they got because they don't got no money. Mm. They will and dealing just on true business tactics. Mm. Calling up another agent, calling up, making deals, getting you to believe in a deal, almost like a sucker's deal. Yeah, but these these stars are going where they want to go. They but that's all, but that's all part of it. How do you make that move? How do you make that transitional? Move because that, stars that do say they want to come to I think that's the Knicks, from the players. they don't want to come by themselves. I'm talking about that's a relation from the players. And that interview I just seen with Melo, I think it was on All the Smoke. He even said, he said, he said, these players don't want to come. And we've been saying that for years. Yeah. They don't want to come to New York. They can't handle it. They can't handle that pressure. They kind of want to focus on bowl. They love playing in the garden. But yeah. they can't handle it. But that's, they, they're going to let you know. They're going to, if you miss 50%, they're going to let you know. New York gonna let you. Yeah, know. the pressure is it's the pressure, mm -hmm. and it's the media has a lot to do with that, because guys want to guys got money when they got that money, they want to do some backhanded things. You can't do that in the spotlight of New York City. Mm -hmm. But one thing that y'all stars have to understand, you know, all nobody's asking y'all to come to New York. It's like they ask us to come here, like we want this, like we want the superstars to get you know find a cure for cancer. Mm -hmm. No, come here. And hang a banner from the Raptors. That's all we asking y'all to do. We didn't ask y'all to come here. It's, it's a lot of stars in New York City. It's a lot of act, it's a lot of entertainers. It's a lot of movie stars. A lot of everything. Y'all not the only ones that's gonna be here. We're not asking y'all to do no more than what you get paid to do. Come here and hang a banner. Mm -hmm. You know. But they act like we asking them to do all this other they, stuff. Because they, they want to put on the show. But that's that's us. We 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 draft and pick those kind of plays. Yep. You know what I mean? But this is the first time in a long time we got ballers. So, you know what I mean? It's we got guys that's going to get out. We don't just got Kemba Walker, and we would have went and go got uh, Jamal Crawford. We would have turned around and got people that just put on the show all day. Mm -hmm. Now, we need you to actually come in here. And yeah. ball. I'm not saying them dudes don't, but now we need you to actually ball. <laughs> like, we don't yeah. need no gimmick. Yeah. We don't need no be honest, transparency. <laughs> like, listen, you ain't, you ain't playing right, you're not playing. So I think that's, that's what right. they're doing. And us as the fans, a lot of us can't handle it. 
Like, we just want what we want. Like, nah, well, what y'all want don't work neither. Y'all don't know what y'all want. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because when we win it, y'all bored. <laughs> like, I mean, when? When? I don't but, care how you do it. Get Tim Duncan on the phone now. <laughs> hey, bring him out. Now, this is okay. We're going to end with this one. Um, in which I don't know where it fits in for the Knicks, but the J.J. Reddick thing. J.J. Reddick, right. So he, he's holding out. You know, he got, I guess his kids live in New York area somewhere. Mm -hmm. So he's holding out, and he wanted last year in the trading deadline, he wanted to get traded this way to New York, to the Knicks and the Nets, so because he, he wanted to stay closer to his family. Mm -hmm. um, so now he's waiting till uh, the season, he's waiting until training camp, mm -hmm. and then he's going to try to land with the Knicks. He want the Knicks or the Nets. That's his preferred destination. Mm -hmm. Now, with the Knicks, we don't, I don't, and they said the Knicks, there's some interest there. So I don't know where you fit. I mean, he fits. It's just that now, now you, you're subtracting more players. So because of the position that he plays, he plays, he plays, he plays two guard. Yeah, but I mean, it still, it still means somebody got to go. Even if he takes a veteran minimum, because now we got 16 players signed. He's going to have 15. So somebody, somebody would have to go. Mm -hmm. um, and then we got 19 players on the training camp roster. You can only carry 20 in the training camp. But well, that's good to say that for somebody I'm to get let sure go. I'm pretty sure Ruckus ain't staying. I'm pretty sure uh, the other foreign dude ain't staying. I'm pretty like. Well, one of them, one of them, Ruckus went back. Ruckus got sent back. He got sent back already. Well, Ruckus wasn't he? Fedoza, like, was the college player. Fedoza is the one from overseas. Fedoza, yeah, Fedoza. If he doesn't make the team, he ain't going to the G League. To me, if he don't make the team, he's going back overseas, even yeah. though he will be the Knicks property. Because why they why would he not ha why would they not have him over there playing in mm -hmm. the season? Um, but then again, if he goes over, is he still the Knicks property? But again, he's they they're not gonna leave him here for the G League. Mm -hmm. I, I don't I don't I don't see that. So if he don't make it, then he then he's out of here. Um, but then you still got you're gonna add players somewhere. Jericho's on a two way contract, mm -hmm. so you don't got to worry about that with him. So who who do you bring in, and where do the minutes come from if you're gonna bring him in? Now on the net side. He actually fits on the net side because even that young boy from the summer league, the best player in the summer league that, that's on the Nets roster, mm -hmm. he's never going to get to play, really, unless somebody get hurt because he's a guard and you got James Harden and Kyrie. But being a shooter that Redick is... I mean, I think it's going to come down to who got the most money. And if it comes down to... Well, I don't, I don't know if the Knicks would do that. Though. I mean, J.J., can he do like a veteran minimum? Though? Yeah, he probably would have to do a veteran's minimum if you wait until training camp. If he camp. does a veteran minimum, yeah, take him. I wouldn't mind having them, but again, sometimes these players now you want to come. When all those years that we wanted you, you didn't want to come. But you see what I'm saying? So, There's no money. But this is what I was just saying. There's no money to go around. So where do you think y'all going? You want to go to the, this? Is what I just said. These players are picking where they want to go. Yeah. So when you that good or you do a certain thing good, you kind of just picking where you want to go. I can, if I can put on, on my team and, and when you get traded, they the even playoffs. asking you. They even asking yeah. players now. Where would you like to be traded? You know what I mean? To make you happy because they got a relationship with you, even though if they got a better deal here, they're going to send you a butt to Denver or something like that. But if he don't get a deal with New York, if Knicks don't take him and Nets don't take him, he's going to go Philly? Well, he can like, go anywhere. I mean, he was, saying, in, like, you can, he was you, in Philly before. Red, J.J. Reddick can go anywhere. That's, that's I'm saying you want to be closer older. to home. But yeah, he, wanted, he just want to be closer to home. But he'll, and he'll have to end up playing somewhere else if they don't take him. But just the fact that he wants to come, he wants to come to New York, not so much New York, just just proximity to his family. Mm -hmm. That's why he wants to come to New York. But we need guys that want to come to the to Knicks play. for the Knicks. Mm -hmm. you know. But I would take him, if I had to, I'd stash him on my bench to the playoffs because that's when you'll need him. You'll need, you'll need that clutch yeah, shooting in the playoffs. But in that moment right there, this is why I say NBA kind of got to be like the NFL with the fines. Because now if you don't ball out, right, you want to be close to your family, but now you got to ball. I mean, but how are you going to find him for that? If you sign him, if you sign him, he show up to play. You you know you ain't promised nothing, but he only going to give you one skill. He won't get rattled shooting the three. That's mm -hmm. only that's the skill he going to give you. Mm -hmm. So he's not going to be out. He can't be out there for twenty twenty five minutes. He don't got them kind of legs no more. Mm -hmm. But as far as a, a savvy veteran who won't back down, that's that's what he that's what he'll bring to the table. But again, you know for that. Right now, for that, I'd rather go with one. Of, I'd rather go with one of the young guys. The coach probably want him. So, well, he gonna want, he gonna want any veteran he gets hand on. Yeah, you know. But I would like to see Grimes when the opportunity comes. 
I would like to see him get a steady diet of minutes when the opportunity comes. Because that man, but is, that man, be is like a Gibson, he don't gotta, he don't gotta. Yeah, play. He'll, and he'll, and he'll, under, he'll, 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 yeah, he don't gotta play. And that's what I was thinking of. Yeah. Like he, he just gotta get the job done when the, when the calls come. That's yeah, what. yeah. <laughs> no, he'll be a professional. That's that's no doubt about it. And, and he got the gift of gab too, so he'll know how to handle those young guys. Mm-hmm. And he can, and he can end up being a team leader. Oh, yeah, and there was you a know? comment I like. It was like, uh, "This Randall got the help he need," and he was like, "Let me help you." D Rose got the help he need. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I meant to bring that up too. That's right. Whoever said that? Yeah, that was cool. But uh, and I and I ain't mad at that neither because you know Rose is a big part of what we was yeah. doing, and he's still going to be a big part of what we're doing because the other guys trust him. Yeah. All right, so uh, people, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and let's get that sixty-seven percent. That's that's kind of wow. Okay. Yeah, we got to work on that. I mean, y'all watching, y'all ain't liking. You, you yeah, can dislike too. I don't, it don't matter to me. No, I like. Don't listen to that. <laughs> like anyway, you know. If you don't like it, like the fact that you saw it. All right? <laughs> All right, y'all? Peace.